Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just quickly go over through what I talked about in the last video about Grunt and Webpack. So earlier, what people used to do is they used to make use of Grunt or Gulp or you know task runners like that. What is the exact difference between Grunt and Webpack? So you see that Grunt is basically very simple in nature. What it does is that it could run certain JavaScript code against certain file names or you know certain extensions so that you can actually add functionality like cleaning up the files, building files and all that stuff. It is not really technically a module bundler. Webpack on the other hand allows you to load external plugins, external loaders, allow configuring them basically webpack is a huge container which allows other smaller loaders or plugins to get plugged into it on the other hand grunt basically allows you to run certain tasks against certain rules you specify and that is it so if you take a look um, i'm not really sure if they show any examples here but uh, what it does is that for example on a sas file you can run a grunt task which let's say compiles it down to CSS. On the other hand, in Webpack, what you could do is you could use that SAS file, import it into JavaScript, set a custom SAS loader, bring it down to CSS. You can maybe like auto prefix it as well for older browsers and do a bunch of stuff. You can compress that CSS then and uh, basically you are good to go. What you can do, whatever you can imagine with your code, whatever you can automate, right? So that is the reason once you start using Webpack, there's no coming back. So yeah, that kind of rhymed, but it is true. So yeah, that was a quick little video showing you if you are coming from a grunt background, why moving to Webpack is sure a good deal for you. But if you are just a, a new guy who have never used grunt or Webpack, you can safely stay with Webpack and hence this course. So yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you then pretty quickly in the next one.